Hey guys, welcome to another Serve Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LCGym007, and today we're looking at the All Market plugin. Now, this is a really awesome plugin which adds a stock market type idea to your Minecraft server where players can buy and sell various ores to hopefully make some gains and hopefully not lose any of it. So it works in a way that if you sell a ton of product, it's obviously going to lower the price of it. And if you buy a ton of product, it's going to make it more rare and therefore worth more, just like the stock market in real life. So you can see every so often uh, in chat, it's going to tell you what everything is valued at. Now I sold a couple of diamond ore. What that's done is obviously lowered the cost. So it's gone down 17%. I haven't touched gold or iron yet. So they're still at the default price. But if we were to do forward slash open market, that's gonna bring up the GUI. Now there's not too much in here. We've got the different ores. You can add more if you want to. And then we've got the close button and then our current balance. Now, if I look at diamond ore, you can see I can left click to sell a diamond and right click to buy a diamond. And as I was saying, if loads of people were buying diamonds, there would be not many stock left and therefore it would be very expensive. And then if everyone was selling diamonds all at once, they found loads of uh, ore veins, therefore it would get really cheap and there would be too much stock. So you can change how much the price changes every time you buy or sell it. So if I were to left click, you can see the price goes down even more. So it's now 24% less than the original and the value is now $700 and I could just spam this all day if I had a ton of diamonds to get rid of um, and that's going to make it very cheap to buy. So if my other account was on and he wanted to buy some diamonds, now is a great time for him to buy that. And you can obviously do the same for uh, gold, although I don't have any, and I can do the same for iron. So that is how it works in game. Uh, there's a couple of other cool commands. If we do forward slash om hyphen crash, this will create kind of a market crash situation where everything gets decreased by up to 80%. So if we go back to the open market GUI, you can now see diamond is worth, you know, $26, 97% um, change. Uh, gold's gone down 80% and then iron ore's now 88% less. So you can actually uh, set it up in the config file where that market crash happens periodically every X amount of hours or whatever. Um, so let's go ahead and head over to the config file and see what we can change in there. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel and as you can see there are three YML files. Let's look at the config.yml first of all. And there's only a few things in here we can change. We've got the prefix for anything in chat that appears We've got the value message. So we saw that in game where every five minutes it will pop up and say the value of diamond, gold, iron, etc. You can obviously change that if you want. Then there is a tax. So unfortunately in real life tax exists, um, but you can also have this in Minecraft if you want. So you can set that at a percentage for every purchase and sale. Then we've got the multiplier. So this is what I was talking about where someone sells or buys uh, an ore. It's going to be a percentage change of 0.01%. Now it says here, depending on the popularity of your server, you might want to change this, and obviously you could. Um, and for example, you know, it goes up $50 or loses $50 if someone were to buy it at $1,000. So you could change that, make it even lower so it doesn't change quite as drastically as it did in game. Um, but that's what that does. And then here is the market crash. So either you can use the command to create this or you can enable this to true. And then this is going to happen every eight hours and the amount is by 80%. And then you also have a message. So, so that's everything in the config file. If we go into the GUI, this is where we can make changes to the ores. So there's only three rows in this GUI. You could obviously increase that. And there's only three items by default. You could obviously increase this. I'd probably put emerald here. So you could literally just copy and paste. So make sure you change the ID number. So this will be number three. Um, that is the position it is in the GUI. Make sure you change the name, so this will be Emerald, and then you'd want to also change the name down here. And then we've got the law, which is all the values and the cost, etc. And then you can change how much it costs by default. So we'll start with a thousand. The value will also be a thousand, and then the stock will start at five, for example. So that's how you'd add a, another or or ingot or something. And then finally, we've got messages.yml, nothing too much in here, just various messages that will pop up in chat. So here we are on the speaker page. You can see it's updated from 1.12 to 1.17. If you need more information on it, you can read up on the documentation or contact the author. 
If we scroll down, we've got a couple of GIFs showing how it works. We obviously looked at this in game, and then we've got the various YML files where you can change things and tweak it to your liking. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.